another deck profile for the Sonic Duckies. Alright, I discovered UAs not too long ago. That's the deck profile I'm going to be giving you, of course. I think that this could be my main deck. It is just gets around so many things. Anything that targets doesn't really work with this deck. It gets around everything. Alright, let's get into this pudding cup. I run three UA midfielder. Now, all of these UA monsters have the same general effect, or first effect, of if they're in your hand, you can return a UA monster from the field to back to your hand to special summon one UA monster in your hand. Okay. Um, midfielder's effect, other effect, is you can target one UA monster on the field and you can switch that monster with the monster in your hand during either player's turn. He's also the only level 4 in the deck, so you really want to open up with him, or it could be bad news. But luckily, there's a lot of cards that help you bring out cards. So, yeah. There's also um, four sports with the deck. you got your soccers, your baseballs, your footballs, your basketballs. Our next monster is going to be Goalkeeper. Um, his effect is once per turn during your opponent's turn, you can target one UA monster on the field, and his they are unaffect they cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects for that turn. Let's move on to some baseball. I run three perfect ace. Uh, once per turn during my opponent's turn, I can discard one card for, discard one card and negate the effect of or activation of one card on the field and destroy it. I run three Mighty Slugger. Uh, when he attacks, your opponent can't activate any card effects in response to his attack. I run two Dreadnought Dunker. He does piercing damage and whenever he deals battle damage to my opponent, he can destroy one card in the field. Then I run one rebounder. When he's normal summoned or special summoned on my opponent's turn, he can special summon one UA monster from my graveyard. Go to football. I run two blockbacker. When an opponent's monster is special summoned, I can change his battle position and its effects are negated. Then I run two Playmaker. During my battle phase, he can lose 800 attack and give it to any UA monster on the field. And that should be it for my monsters. I run three UA Stadium. Um, when a UA monster is normal summoned, you can search your deck and add one UA monster to your hand. And then when a UA monster is special summoned once per... Once per turn, when a UA monster is special summoned, all UA monsters on the field gain 500 attack. Then I run three power jersey. Powered jersey. Basically, any you can equip it to any UA monster. They gain 1,000 attack. Um, if they attack a monster, it does double damage. And then if it destroys the monster, it can you, uh, your monster can then attack again. The only downside is that during your next standby phase, if the monster, if your monster is still on the field, the monster is destroyed, and power jersey is destroyed. So what you do is you just switch it out during your main phase two after you attack. Power jersey would go to the graveyard. Your monster would come back to your hand. But power jersey's other effect is when the when the monster that it hits equipped to is returned to the hand, you can return power jersey from your graveyard to your hand. Oh, I lost one. One. Shouldn't be there. I'll cut that out, it's okay. I run three UA signing deal. 
you pay 300 life points times the star of the UA monster you choose in your deck, and you can special summon it straight to the field, but its effects are negated. So it's a card that can bring out midfielder if you need it. I will play one turnover tactics. If you control two or more UA monsters on the field, you can shuffle those mon your UA monsters back in the deck and all of your opponent's monsters back in the deck. And then you and your opponent can then special summon that many monsters from your deck to the field. Then I run two Twin Twister, one Monarch Stormforth, one Rota, one Terraforming, and one Dark Hole. Onto our traps, I run two UA Penalty Box. If your opponent's monster attacks one of your UA monsters, or one of your UA monsters deci decides to attack one of your opponent's monsters, you can choose to banish your opponent's monster and your monster for two turns, but then they come back. And then if this card is in the graveyard, you can banish it to add one UA spell or trap card from your deck to your hand. I play two Battle Growl Battle Guard Howling. It negates an attack, returns to hand, re will return the monster that attacked to hand, and your opponent will take life points equal to that monster's original attack. Then, one Solomon Warning. That's it for my deck. Let's move on to the extra deck. Now keep in mind, this deck, you don't really use your extra deck at all. It's just for those specific occasions when you have something that you just really can't get over. I run one Volcasaurus, detach unit, destroy monster on the field, and your opponent will take damage equal to its original attack. One Photon Strike Bowser. If a monster effect is activated, detach a unit, negate the effect, and inflict 1000 damage to your opponent. And one Utopia Beyond. I only use this card because when you summoned all my other opponent, all my opponent's monsters' attacks go to zero permanently. But I'll probably never use it because I never use the extra deck in this deck. How do you like my deck? UAs are good. <laughs>